So this video I want to talk about game disappointment and pre-orders and how that all fits in to the, the whole gamut of gaming. I've seen a lot of people on the net lately be really pissed off about No Man's Sky and how, I don't know, how lackluster the experience ended up being for them despite the fact they were so hyped. I think this is kind of uh, both parties' fault, both developers and consumers, for kind of the whole debacle that is No Man's Sky. I know the developers have skimped out on features that were supposed to be involved in the game. Whether they lied about it or not, I don't really care. I knew what I was getting into when I bought No Man's Sky, so I'm not as bitter as some other people. Regardless, that's that's a shitty thing to do. They should definitely be called out for it. But at the same time, I think people held No Man's Sky up to uh, a caliber that I don't think it was ever going to reach. At least not right off the bat. People thought this was, this was going to be like a life-changing game from 12 dudes. Come on. 12 guys aren't going to do it. They can make a good game, but they're not going to... It's not going to be genre-defining. I mean, the whole... You know, the whole planet system is all procedurally generated. That's only going to be so good. It's it's not like each world is handcrafted. Eventually, you're going to start to see things that are the same. That's the way procedural generation works. And with this whole debacle really comes into play pre-orders. Pre-orders had a place back in the day. Before digital distribution, a, a big game would come out and you would worry about if you're going to be able to get your copy from GameStop or whatever. You know, you didn't know if they were going to have enough. I mean, there's been times where I've showed up to buy a game, and it was sold out. And you go to the next GameStop, and they're sold out, and they're sold out. And that's when pre-orders really mattered. Not so much for bonuses or anything like that, but just to make sure you could get your copy. In the PC world, especially now, very, very rarely, I think I've probably bought like one or two hard copies of a game in the past five years. You know, digital distribution has taken over. Now pre-orders don't have that kind of kind of necessity in the world anymore. But the developers still want it. They still want you to pay them money up front. That way, they got they already got you before they've even you know given you the product that they're working on. And I mean, maybe consoles still could have this problem, but I doubt it. You know, even consoles are moving to digital distribution slowly but surely. Now they try to butter you up with pre-orders with, you know, different bonuses, weapons, skins, blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. It's really their way of trying to get you before they've even delivered. People hype up a game and they they want to pre-order it and then they get the final product and they're not as satisfied with it as they thought. But, you know, especially according to Steam rules, after two hours you can't get a refund. How much are you really going to know about No Man's Sky in two hours? You're not. How much are you going to know about most games in two hours? You're not anymore. Games are too complex. They're too big. You don't. You can't gauge effectively off two hours of gameplay. Maybe 20 hours you can. 15, maybe even 10 on some games. Now, this is... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and bash pre-ordering. I mean, I still pre-order games for bonuses. But really, what it boils down to is you kind of, especially like No Man's Sky, and I'll use that as an example, those guys are unproven. That's their first game. It's not like there's been other games before and you know what you're getting. It's not like a Final Fantasy or a Battlefield or anything like that where you already kind of know what you're getting into, and so you're cool with that. So when it comes to pre-orders, I mean, really, they don't have a place anymore. No Man's Sky would have been much better off if they released a demo or a beta or something. They didn't release anything like that, so nobody really knew what they were getting into. And I don't want to bash the developers for it. I mean, when they sent their copies, their review copies, to you know media outlets, they showed a note that uh, Sean Murray, the kind of head guy over there, sent to them hoping that they'd like the game. And... You know, a lot of people are bashing him. He's a liar. He's this, he's that. And Peter Molyneux all over again. I've even done a video of Peter Molyneux, so I understand. But it's going to be kind of soul-crushing 
to have put all this work and to have all this hype and to really think you're on to something only to finally deliver the product and realize that most people don't even like it. Most media outlets reviewed it rather mediocre. And now here you are, worried that people wouldn't like your game only for that to actually come true if people don't like your game and they want a refund. That's going to be soul-crushing. But what I hope they do is they stick stick with it, stay strong, and put out content updates. I think No Man's Sky can be a good game. I just think it needs more stuff in there. You know, it's kind of a pretty empty shell. It needs stuff. It needs stuff to do, stuff to collect. And they can still add that. And that's the great thing about modern gaming is once it's it's not, you know, one and done. You know, once it's out, I mean, they can keep going. It's not like the old times where you, whatever you bought, that was all you were getting. You know, they can update the games, you know, add content, you know, everybody knows, all kinds of stuff. But I just kind of wanted to get that out there and talk about pre-orders. Pre-orders don't really have a place anymore as far as any necessity, but they still keep it out there, you know, especially digital distribution. It's like, why do I need to pre-order? It's not like you're going to run out of copies. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to download the code like everybody else. It's it's in in the end it's like anything, it's it's a risk. You know you never know what you're gonna get. Whether you go out to eat, you go see a movie, you go see a band, you go to an art gallery, you go on a date. It it can always end up being shit no matter what. You know, it's all risk. So just you know for me and I don't want to patronize anybody by by this. You know I'm just saying just kind of be realistic about what you're getting yourself into when you buy a game. You know, keep your expectations in check. I did with No Man's Sky, which is why I'm not as hateful or as hurt as other people. I mean, I got games. I'm I'm ridiculously excited about Cyberpunk 2077. We've talked about it on this channel. I've done a video on it. I'm ridiculously excited about that game. But even I have to keep my hype in check. Final Fantasy 15, Final Fantasy series is what turned me into a gamer. Final Fantasy 15 looks amazing. I'm keeping my hype in check on that one, too. If you overhype, then you then it'll always underdeliver. You know, if you keep it in check, games will always surprise you. Witcher Three surprised me. I was really excited about Witcher Three, but it exceeded my expectations, and I think it did for a lot of other people because they weren't they didn't have this huge hype over it. Just keep keep it in check, and you won't be as disappointed as often. As always, like, subscribe, share, and leave comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out.